Warwick comes to mind. That's true. Uh, Mudeis also has a Palu. Uh, and she's, I, she's not a primary catcher, she's a secondary yeah, for someone. Everyone has a secondary Palu because she's just that good. No one has a secondary Peach. No, Peach is too much work. Mm -hmm. But like uh, maybe as like time develops and these Peach players get more time to really develop their meta. But right. Toasty pulling out the Pokemon trainer, that is another one of the characters that he has. Uh, not surprised to see it come out against the Luigi here. This is going to be an interesting matchup just because, you know, I think Ivysaur is going to throw uh, Luigi off stage and then blow him up. Um, but also uh, remember, both these characters have great grab games, especially the Squirtle, but Luigi can kill you off of that, and that's the biggest threat about that. Yeah. We do have Matt Elegant here. Oh, going to get some things down, but 48%. Don't seem to do a really good job, but the game is even up. Trying to use his carriers as well, but a lot of... Uh, a lot of whiffed attempts, but there we go, 76%. I would love to see that Ivysaur come into play. Oh, he tried to go for a jab lock attempt. Yeah, he tried to extend it with an f tilt instead of just immediately going for the jab lock. Um, kind of ill-advised, but he's still ahead Ooh. here. Gets the forward smash read on the air dodge in from Didorino. Didorino? I want to talk to Rita a little bit. Uh, but Toasty was conditioning it. He saw how many times that Luigi was using that air dodge, and here comes the... Oh, he delayed it. I thought the arena was expecting like a switch of some sort, but yeah, the cyclone. I would have. The cyclone used one scroll, but here comes Ivysaur. I had up air on stage is gonna catch Toasty at the very end of it. Off he goes. No, he <laughs> is gonna just sit there and take a hit. Yeah. I feel like that's better. He doesn't want to go off stage for his ID. There's no you go off stage against Ivysaur, he's gonna easily edge guard you, but here comes the charge. They're gonna get the back here. But the F tilt ends as well. It needs to be careful with those air dodges though, but here comes the combo. Almost. Almost. He did get some good damage on Toasty at the very least. Oh, he still got that down here. Oh my god, yeah, he's still going, but... Oh! Spot dodge canceled up B, turns it around and gets the sweet spot. He is going to take that stock very fast off of the Charizard. Yeah, that's a pretty big blow, and I'm surprised that Toasty's staying on this portal for so long, especially at, you know, around 83% even throwing in the Luigi missile there. Is there a reason he's staying on Squirtle? Oh, no. Tech it. That's really unfortunate that he wasn't on Ivy Store right there. And oh my god, he's gone. <laughs> What's the thought process of staying on Squirtle for so long? I'm not sure. Maybe he just wants to be able to maneuver around Luigi a little bit better. Like, you're super impressive, but like. Too, too many, a bunch of missed opportunities. Like yeah. that down air spike would have secured it, and also he would have survived. I think a little longer because Squirtle is. The I last don't think he would have lived that as Ivy either. That's true, but no, like in different occasions, like Ivy is a little heavier, and he's able to find his way out. And especially the fact that Ivy has a projectile that he could have used yeah. to camp Luigi out because that's what he struggles with. But Toasty, hopefully, he's got a game plan in mind for the second one. I know. Is Toasty gonna stick with? The Pokemon trainer is he gonna go a power trainer? It's Snake. Yo, he pulled. Oh. Nope, nope, broke my ankles. Yeah. It is Palutena, Okay. He also has a snake. Really? He also has a snake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I wasn't getting a heart attack for no reason. No, no. The snake is a real character. He played. It was like his main when the game first came out. Uh huh. Um, he still plays it here and there, but I feel like it's more Palu. So definitely Palu, Luigi. Definitely Palo favorite. Oh yeah, this is not a good matchup. The one thing I will say is Luigi has the option to Cyclone out of the down tilt combos at ledge there. Um, but the counterpoint being Palo can just do anything after the Cyclone. And catches the jab as well. Luigi definitely feeling the pressure trying to get on there. And Toasty, oh, he almost got the confirm, but instead, after the air dodge. Yeah, but he does get the frame trap right there. Turns around, gets the grab after he misses the downtown fair. Dude, oh my god. Luigi is stuck cross country, one side to the other, and gets the up smash, thankfully, before Toasty could get the back here. But keep that in mind. He's got to be really careful using. Oh my god. He actually fell out of the dash attack for a little moment there. But Toasty getting caught up with the cycle of 68%. Remember, Palo is a little bit of light, so. Luigi with some rage, his up smash can kill. Oh. oh my god, the explosive flame actually killed him. I didn't expect to see that right. one. I feel like at this percent, Toasty's a little bit scared to go for a raw grab because he's of the threat of a spot dodge up. Yeah. Definitely a little scared to hear. Down throw, here's the cyclone. No, he goes that's for the up. That's a huge punish. That's a huge missed opportunity and hitting up for a lot of damage. That should have been an up tilt, but 
Oh, up don't want to hit the platform. Really? No. It doesn't hit, okay. Oh, uh, great catch with the forward tilt. Gets the air dodge in. Oh, nice job. And he convinces the air dodge as well. Knowing exactly that he's very trigger happy with that. Run off, run off there. No, he's going to just stick on the ledge with these tilt attacks. Just keep the ledge traps coming on Didorino here. I mean, I, I feel like a Toasty, he feel like he can go for it, but why, why, why risk it? When you can go ahead and just go for a ledge trap. Oh, that is a big. That, ye ye I thought I thought I, he wouldn't live. I thought he would. Loki, I was like, oh, why would you grab him? Like, I play Palu, and that's one of those things where it's like it might kill him with the back throw, but you could have just like up smashed him. Oh no, that's a. Right now, the game is running away for him. Toasty is doing such a good job walling out, and that's the strength of how This is why it's so yeah. Palu centric. Because even a, even a nicely parried back here, it's so safe if you're able to space it out correctly. Did Arena? Did Arena? Right? Did Arena. Did Arena. I'm imagining it's like the Pokemon. Okay. He's struggling this matchup, but it's also the fact that a lot of spot dodges, and as well as the air dodges, Toasty is trying to realize and catch out. Oh, the air dodge in avoids the explosive flame that could have been big for Dino, but he gets the grab, not able to react to the DI, so he does not get the down, but roll in from Toasty gets caught by the up smash. Yeah, this gets catch up by him, but Toasty, all he does is he needs to reset back and just go back to doing that there. Okay, but there what? A lot of lag on that move. Mm -hmm. Bit. And that's the trade off is it has those eye turns at the start of it, but it's a very laggy move in the end. And Toasty recognizing that drops down and gets a forward smash. Yeah, it's horribly unsafe on shield. But the fact that uh, Luigi Bears will throw it out because they'll catch you off guard thinking you yeah. have a, a combo. But if it's not like true, true, it's going to get, you're going to get knocked out of that one. But Toasty realizing that situation, did Reno obviously got caught off guard. There was a lot of spot dodges and a lot of air dodges that even we started to realize that were popping out by him. But, uh, did he just kind of pick Palutena with DK? I think he did. Even Toasty sat there and was like, oh, you're serious? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the wise words of Denny DeVito, suicide is bad. I can't finish that. All right. Um, anyways, moving on. We're not going to talk about that one anymore. Well, no, Here come the loops. Yeah. I mean, DK, I, uh, I don't know. I don't this know This matchup's why. terrible. Yeah, like, this look at this. This matchup's atrocious. Like DK disadvantage is already a meme at this point, and Palutena with the disjoints is able to provide so much. Like even if DK finds his way in, Toasty ain't a bad pal. He knows what he's doing. But he he gets smacked up. Um, well, it's not. She's gonna just throw him off. He looks for the photo, but that's definitely not a thing. What I was gonna say is it's not just you know the big body that gets comboed, but the way DK's recovery works. Oh. Great reaction with the F smash, by the way. Is that? It takes so long for him to travel. It's a free down tilt two frame for Palutena. And then that's going to be a huge punish because it combos into like a back air or forward air. And especially the fact that the down throw back air is going to be even easier. Yeah. Especially a big body gets DK. And he covers right through it. Give him plenty of time to charge it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. The DK switch questionable at best. And yeah, definitely. I feel like he still could have stuck it out with the Luigi. Looks, Toasty looking for the downer, just wants to get off the screen. He needs to spike him. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean him! I didn't mean on. him! He got stepped on. I didn't mean him, oh my goodness. But like, I, when DK finds an opportunity, he gets it. But Toasty, He does a lot of damage, for sure, yeah. but... That's not what we're worried about here. Interesting situation right there for Dino Reno. He does get thrown off stage once again. Just be careful. No space at the back here, and the air dodge not punished out just yet. But Toasty doing a really good job playing it patient, throwing out his options, knowing when he can at Dean Reno on the back. And oh, he oh that's the berry he mashes out immediately, though, gives Dean Reno no time to punish him. Now he's, this is the part where Palo kind of struggles with landing, but Dean Reno unable to find an opportunity at all. Here he comes. That is oh, a dead no. DK. And that's a forward smash for Toasty, taking it away with a two stock. Dirino started to put up a little bit more of a fight in the end. Um, I felt like Toasty kind of gave up a little bit on trying for the two frame. Wanted to go for these down airs, go for some sort of, you know, bear looking kill, then just, you know, going for the spin at the ledge and then getting a back air or something. And because, like, he, he knows that even if DK is like a, like a low percent, a downer will kill him. He does yeah. not have a great recovery oh, coming yeah, up from the, from the bottom to the top. But in that case, Toasty. 
Sure enough, he had a PT, but it just got it got snuffed out. Definitely some questionable switches, but does does get it with a nice reversing it with the two games in a row. But why the DK? I couldn't tell you. I don't know Didorino. I don't know him well enough to explain why he might go that if he feels more comfortable and just really doesn't like Luigi Palutena, maybe, but... I mean, Luigi Palutena's bad. It's bad. D DK Pal is worse. It's definitely. I mean, surely maybe it's just kind of like being more comfortable with your character and that kind of... I mean, we can't judge. We're back here. Like, we're not even playing. I mean, you were. I dq I know. <laughs> I mean, the thing is you have to take, but... Yeah. In that case, and so Chronicles, anything runs and anything goes. And there, and there we go. 